A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this video, we are going to discuss how to make bold, italic and underline in Microsoft Word. And this is the part of Microsoft basic tutorial. And uh, before I start the discussion, I like to bring to your notice that I'm using Microsoft 365, which is the latest version as of now. And if you're using different version of Microsoft Office, you may see a little difference in appearance. So let's get started. The first option is how to make a text or a character bold. So here is the example and uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this sentence and when you select a sentence, you will see a box appeared over here. The very easy one is just click B and you will see it is uh, the text are made in bold. Just select it once, it will come become a regular text. Uh, if you are unable to see this box, what you can do, you can select it once again, go to the Home tab and there is a font group. Again, there is an option called B. Just press it there. If you don't want, if you don't like it, just press it once again. It will come back to the regular. Uh, there is a shortcut. Uh, you can use Control B as well. So select it and press Control B. It, it became bold. If you don't like it, just press it once again. It will become to the regular type. Another option is that select it. Go to this small box called font. Shortcut is Control D. And you will see here it is a regular. And if you select bold, this is the preview. Click OK. It will become bold. If you don't like it, just go, it, go there once again. Make it regular click OK, it become regular. Uh, the last option what I'm trying to show is if you're unaware about anything and everything, there is a good feature called search box in Microsoft Office. Just select it, type bold. When you type bold, you will see option, just click it once and you will see it became bold. And if you don't like it, just press it bold once again and become a normal or regular type. The second point of discussion is that how to make any uh, text character or sentence in italics. So let's uh, select it first and you will see again same box appeared. Simple way, very easy way, just click I, this small icon. You will see it has become italics. If you don't like it, press it once again. It will go back to normal. If you are unable to see that box, what you can do again, you can go to the Home tab, Font Group, and there is an option called I. Just click it. If you don't like it, click it once again. It will look on. The shortcut is Control I. If you just click the, select the text and press Control I, it became italics. If you don't like it, press it once again, Control I. It will look on. Another option is this Font Box. Shortcut is Control D. Just press it over there. And now it is regular. Press italics. Click OK. It will become italics. If you don't like it, repeat it. Make it regular. Click OK. And it will be gone. Now the last option is uh, with the search box, which imagine you are not aware about anything. Just uh, what you can do. You can go to the search box. Search italic. You can see this recommendation. Just click it there and it will italicized. Uh, just click it there, it will be gone. Now let's talk about the last uh, point of discussion that is uh, underline. And for that one, what you have to do is again, same way, select it and you will see the box appeared. Just press it, U, and you will see it is underlined. And if you don't like it, just press it once again, it will be gone. Similar way, Select it, go to the font group in the home tab and press it underline. You can enable, you can disable it based on your preference. Uh, there is another option here in the font box. You have selected this text. There is a font color black. If you want to change a different underline uh, type, here I am putting a dashed line and the font 
underline color also you can change here I'm changing underline color as a different color as orange color and if I'm going to click OK you will see the text is black underline is underline the line type is tasked and color is orange which you can choose based on your preference there is another simple way to do it is from here itself you can choose the line type from here underline color you can choose from here itself you can see the color is changed so the last option to do underline is from here select it and search underline and this has this is underline now if you want to remove it just select it once again and look on so that is all for uh, this discussion and hope it has given you a, a brief idea about how to use the bold italics and underline feature in Microsoft Word how you have found the video please do write in the comment section and if you have liked it please do like and share for more videos please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the upcoming videos with this i will say goodbye and see you soon